Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. It's actually been a couple of days since I've played, but I'm pretty sure I remember where I wanted to go. Um, I think I looted everything in this room, and if I remember correctly, I got told that there was like some... You don't know I'm here. And I got in here by running all the way around the back, rather than opening those doors. Yeah, back this way, there was another direction that I didn't go. So I'm gonna go that direction. There's also stuff down here. Interestingly. Echo sugar, that's cool. Huh. I wonder what the point of this is. It doesn't look like you can get up here from- I mean, it's a cool vista, you can see the bell over there. Which we've rung, by the way, you notice in the very bottom left we have the little demon eye symbol, so everything should be harder. I haven't really noticed anything with that yet. Like, nothing seemed noticeably difficult. Actually, no, going up through Sempo Temple was hard. But I figured that was just because it was Sempo Temple, but maybe it was because we rang the bell. Hmm. Don't know why... I don't know why those grapple points are there, it seems weird to me, but... Anyway. We have to go this way. Because there's apparently a... A very holy person. Hopefully it wasn't that guy. <laughs> a very holy person back here, if I remember correctly, is what they were talking about. But they... Okay. I love the light change there, it's quite cool. Oh, it's one of you fuckers. These guys are incredibly easy to kill, so I'm not particularly worried. Yoink. <laughs> oh, there's like a... A thing down here. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, that's water. Is that water? Yeah, it's water. Okay. Well, there was another way I could go back this way. Because I don't think this was the only way I could go. I think this was like a, a super secret way. Because, yeah, I could go this way, right? Oh. Actually, that might drop me down to the same place. Yeah, okay, it just drops you down to the same place. I guess you don't get ambushed by the other guy if you go the back way. That item seems like a trap. But maybe not. Pick up the item, please. Wolf. Balloon of spirit? Seems to be a lot of balloons of spirit around here. Oh, I can hear the little fuckers. There's at least one there that's facing away from me. Um, these guys are really easy to kill, but... There's also one of those insect guys. He's just dripping with insects. Oh my god, there's lots of insects, guys. Just, just dripping with insects. You know, fuck it. These insect guys don't seem to be awake. Which is... 
something, I guess? There's one at the end, though. That seems different. I can grapple up. I don't know if these are corpses, because they're, they're, they've previously been alive, but I'm not sure if they're alive because of the insect inside them. They're creepy as fuck, that's for damn sure. And they creep me the fuck out. I don't like insects at the best of times, but... <laughs> Alright, we're back outside, which is nice, I suppose. Pellet. Sweet. Couple of pellets, actually. Oh! Shit. Didn't even see you. Which I guess is kind of the point. They camouflaged on purpose, but... I literally didn't even see them at all. That's really cool. Where is that? Okay, so, yeah, so that's the that's the bell, that's the bridge. Oh, I now know why that tree's there. That's a shortcut back. You can swing past there and then grapple onto there. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to go back down there because I'd have to go back through the cave. But that's why, I, at the start of the episode, I was in there and I was like, uh, why is this thing here? Also, I've got to put my timer on. So what I'm going to do is just turn it on now and then do 20 minutes from here. <laughs> um, right, so you, that's a way back down is what that is. something in here. Sempo esoteric skill. Or er esoteric text, I should say. A book of secrets that grants the ability to learn Sempo style skills. Those of the Sempo temple mastered martial arts in the pursuit of virtue. They considered strong fists and strict discipline essential against Buddha- essential against Buddha's enemies. Okay. However, Sempo temple has- Sempo temple was seized by an obsession with the undying which corrupted their teaching and style. Yep, I figured that out from a couple of things. One, item descriptions told me this. Secondly, a picture of Buddha on a wall told me this. And also the fact that there is weird zombie monks everywhere. Huh. I was sure this was going to take me... in a specific direction, but it seems like maybe it isn't. They were talking about like a holy person that I was supposed to find. Okay, so I guess that's just a side route. Hey, anyway, that's really freaking cool, but that's the way back, so. Interesting. Huh. So where am I supposed to go to find this holy person then? Also, I want to see what these esoteric texts give me. Uh, Ashina Arts, Temple Arts. Here we go. Praying Strikes. Acquire the combat art Praying Strikes. Using successive elbow and arm strikes, unleash a flurry of quick attacks that inflict damage while preventing counterattack. The strikes are both a martial art and a form of prayer. Without strength, one cannot defeat the enemies of Buddha. Okay. So it's just a, a one-two hit. This actually has a bunch of martial arts in it, which makes sense. I kind of want to get it just because. But I really want Ascending Carp. Um... Yeah. More po more posture damage on deflection seems like very, very good. Um, what are these? Recover posture upon executing. That doesn't seem anywhere near as good as health, but... Okay, just reduce posture on you, I suppose. Double Ichimonji. That's intriguing. I've used Ichimonji a few times and it seems really, really good. Is the thing. Um, more healing, not just slash. Bang and blade. Alright, 
so you can just attack after you use it. That's fine. Midair shuriken. Eh, less worried. Hmm. Hmm. I think double itchy munchy maybe. I kind of want to get this just to see what this latent skill is. No, fuck it. Let's go. Praying strikes exorcism. Praying Strides Exorcism adds a finishing attack to parrying strikes. Unleash a flurry of quick attacks inflicting damage while preventing counterattack, then use a heavier blow using one's entire body to complete the combination. The Senpo monks also use this technique as a way to purge themselves of worldly desires. However... Oh, however, they still have worldly desires because they're looking for immortality. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, parrying Strikes is LB and RB. RB. And if you hold LB and RB after parrying strikes, you do exorcism, so you do like the extra attack. Okay, so that's just an upgrade to that one, that's alright. Virtuous Deed. Acquires the latent still Virtuous Deed in... Proves the amount of send obtained from enemies and improves item drop rates. That sounds awesome, and I'm going to get that next, I've decided. <laughs> in, the, in the words of the High Priest of Senpo Temple, One should focus only on deeds of virtue and forego thoughts of attaining wealth. Ironic that... In the Senpo tree, you actually get the thing that allows you to get more wealth. That's kind of funny. But wait, where am I supposed to go? I am now confused. Because I was under the impression... That the way that I just went was the correct way to go if I wanted to... Save this holy person they have locked up that he was talking about. Oh no, out here maybe. Does not open from this side. Okay. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Nothing I can do up here, I don't think. Maybe be able to get up above the Buddha? Nah, it don't look like it. So that door there seems like the correct direction? What, what were you saying again? This temple, it's no longer a place where decent people should be. Hmm, that smell. So, uh, okay, so he's not telling us about the other person anymore. There was supposedly... Because we came up, like, from that direction, I believe. So there's obviously a way... Hmm. I go out this door. Can I like climb over the building? Is that a thing I can do? Alright, let's go back up the front and actually kill these guys because I didn't fully explore this area last time. Because these guys were a pain in the ass. They kind of jump a bunch. I may want to hit them with shuriken. Don't want to fight three of them once. So I ran in so I'd fight them through at once. Ow! Yep. It's fair. Walk away, you prick. Look at this bastard. He's not moving because he knows I'm going to resurrect. Nope. You know what? I'm just going to do this. You don't know I'm here. It's fine. I just have no idea where I'm supposed to go. It's the problem. You know what? Fuck you. You're dead. Give me your stuff.
Hmm. Alright, he's lost interest. That's good. I'm legitimately at a loss. I feel like I've completely explored this place, but I was told that there was some... Actually, no, I haven't completely explored this place. Like, that's for certain. Because... Really? You saw me again? I just gotta learn how to fight these guys properly. Seems like a good idea anyway. Nope. Fuck. What I was trying to do is go to my healing gold there. Alright, let's go. I mean, this seems to be working. I mean, that works, but you have to actually catch them by themselves to be able to pull that off. Goken Sugar. Which, I believe, actually shows me that they're actually Shinobi Hunters. Which I suspected. Um, Misen monks are well versed in the art of killing shinobi, an undertaking that demands a body of an unshakable core. Okay, yep. So shinobi hunters have spears. So the door that I want to get through was like on the other side of this mountain? Or into this mountain? Intriguing. That guy isn't facing me, is he? I don't think so. Alright, I can practice on this guy too. Bulging coin purse. Sweet. Glad I killed him. Turns out I hadn't killed him yet. Also, that got me a level, which is nice. See, up there is the pagoda, right? That was what had the... The text in it. Hmm. Can I do anything with that? No. Is there a way to get up onto the roof? Doesn't seem like it, no. Hmm. I'm actually going to cut here. And I'm going to wander around and see if I can find the correct direction to go. Because I'm, I'm sure there's something else here because he was talking about me going to Oh. So wait. He was talking about me going to save somebody. There was, like, he was like, oh, we shouldn't be imprisoning such and such. I can't remember. It was last PlayStation that I did that, so I can't actually remember exactly what it was talking about, but... Like, it must be through that door, but that door doesn't open from that side. So... What do I do? I guess I'll go back to the cave and explore through the cave. But I'm going to cut now, and I'll be back with you momentarily. Alright, so I'm back. I've explored this place as thoroughly as I possibly can, and as far as I can tell, I've completed it. Which is really weird to me, because 
the man that I spoke to was talking about, oh, there was some imprisoned girl here or something. So I figured I'd be able to save her. But if I can, I can't find it. I walked around for like 10 minutes and I couldn't find anything. So... Like, clearly there's more to this area because... Sorry, buddy. Uh, that door over there is locked from this side, so I can't get into that door. So, clearly there's some way of getting around there, but I can't figure it out. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just teleport away and continue in another area. Um, what area I'm actually going to continue in is a question. I don't really know where. Um, I've got the main path, obviously. Um, at Ashna Castle. Uh, here. So I can continue with Ashna Castle. Actually, you know what I am going to do? Uh, Sempo Temple, this one. I have a pinwheel that I can give to this guy. So that's something I can do. Um, where was he? Around here, right? Uh, yeah, this guy. He wanted a pure white flower or something. <laughs> So I guess give him the white one, yeah. Oh, 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 みんなは、オチの巫女様たち。そうか。オラは真っ白い風車を取ろうとしたのか。あの子の分の風車を。なあ、あんた一つ頼みがあるんだ。なんだ。オラを神隠ししちゃくれないかい。なんだと。オラ
But I have essentially four chances to kill him, I think. Assuming I can get through his health in one Divine Confetti. But this will be interesting. I'm going to try and kill him anyway. I was, like, I don't think parrying is a very good idea, simply because... Whoops. Simply because he seems to get a fair amount of terror build up with even if you're um even if you're parrying, like when you do a parry, he gets a fair amount of terror build up anyway. Granted, pacifying edge it may solve that problem, but Hey bitch. I'm going to have to immediately take Pacifying Agent. I'm going to do it from here, just to make my life slightly easier. Alright. He's still difficult. You can actually walk faster. <sighs> One down. When he does that swing attack is when he disappears. I'm at a pacifying agent, which sucks. Does that bring down my thing anymore? Choose the rest of my divine confetti. <laughs>
Oh my god, that's... Keep the divine confetti, please. I did keep the divine confetti. Well, there goes all my divine confetti. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to beat him without it. I kind of figured out how to do him in the end there. I got unseen 8, that's nice, I suppose. Um, but I had 500 gold on me, I probably am lucky. Um, yeah. I need more divine confetti to be able to do that, unfortunately. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, not a whole lot happened. I got some esoteric text and then I went and fought Headless and died. So, uh, I mean, that's a thing. <laughs> Next time, I think I'm going to head back to Ashina Castle because I think I've done pretty much everything else I can do on side paths. Um, let's see. There was no boss in Senpo Temple, which is really weird to me. I think there must be more I can do there, but I couldn't for the life of me figure it out. Um, so... Yeah, Shinna Castle is pretty much where I'm going next, I think. Yeah, pretty much. So thanks for watching, I shall see you next time, where we'll go and take on Shinna Castle. Bye.